The thing that is hard to overcome in that industry is assuring the seller that you're actually going to pay the mortgage because <laughs> they they don't want to be stuck with a, a foreclosure either. Yeah. Um, yeah. And right. it's hard to guarantee you're going to actually come through with it. There's not going to be as many people underwater in their mortgages now. So I think uh, foreclosure is probably not going to happen as much as we think it may. I think that these institutions are just going to sell the notes off mm. uh, because they don't want to go through the process. They're not really built to do it. It's bad publicity for them, but I, I, I think the distress note business is going to pick up yeah. a little bit too. Yeah. yeah. And you hit the nail on the head. I mean, I had two subject to, um, contracts end up on my desk uh, this past or this week so i mean and i haven't you know we haven't seen those in a while i haven't seen those in a yeah. while i had two yeah, we in have. Week. well yeah. yeah it's coming mm -hmm. it is we well, just need to be especially ready especially when your rates double in six months <laughs> exactly those, those subject twos are, are really nice the, the thing that is hard to overcome in that industry is assuring the seller that you're actually going to pay the mortgage because <laughs> They, they don't want to be stuck with a, a foreclosure either. Yeah. Um, yeah. And, and right. it's hard to guarantee you're going to actually come through with it. So if you have a history and you, uh, your previous clients don't mind sharing, uh, their, uh, referrals with them that yes, this person is always paid on time, blah, blah, blah. Mm -hmm. That might be helpful too. Yeah. Very true. Well, that's another great thing about having a network that you can count on yes. because it's a small world especially in the area that you're doing business in it's a small world in this real estate investment business and people talk and yep. share don't they yep yep and if you're you're doing bad by somebody the word's going to get out absolutely. as it should as it should absolutely and that that's what gets me is people say well i don't want to gossip or i don't want to say anything bad about somebody well you know what you need to save your friends <laughs> yeah, them from making a loan to somebody they shouldn't be making a loan to or or exactly. even getting things under contract from people they shouldn't be contracting mm -hmm. with because yep. because mm -hmm. uh, it's uh there's just there's unscrupulous people everywhere i do have to add that your area is absolutely gorgeous it is I, I, it, it's yeah. hard to find a town that within 20 minutes going west you can be your house can be on the side of a what looks like a mountain. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Overlooking yeah. the city. Uh, who has a river going right through the middle of their town to yeah. a waterfall? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's it's yeah. absolutely beautiful down yeah, here. Now beautiful. I say that, but Carla don't want, doesn't want you to move there. <laughs> That's right. We, as like all these top ten lists that we're all everybody in town's going stop putting this on the top ten list. <laughs> we know it, but we don't want everybody else to know it. That's right. Plus, isn't that where Hootie and the Blowfish came from? Greenville, South Carolina. I was, no, I think they were oh, in Columbia. Oh, yeah, that was Columbia. Yeah. Sorry yeah. about that. Greenville. We'll take them. We'll, yeah. We had Edwin, we have Edwin, Edwin McCain, though. He, he toured oh, a lot right. of Hootie. So. That's right. That's right. Jack Daniels from Spartanburg. <laughs> <laughs> well, there you go. Uh, Charlie Daniels. Not Charlie Jack Daniels. Daniels. <laughs> Jack Daniels is what he's got in his pocket. <laughs> Get those Daniels wrong. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. So what happens when you had too much Jack Daniels? <laughs>